For the 2024 Los Angeles Auto Show, and behind me is the Dodge Daytona. We're showing off the all-new Charger Daytona uh, 2024. This will be the first time that we've got it at a big major auto show, so we're really excited to, uh, to bring that here. Fully electric powertrain. It's standard all-wheel drive, so you have two motors, one front, one rear, uh, with a combined output of 670 horsepower. Uh, range for the cars you see here, so we have a lot of different versions, but with our full track pack and uh, highest output, we're at a range of 241 miles. We'll be shipping to dealers by the end of this year. You're uh, making a bit of move towards EV then? Uh, we, uh, we're, we're keeping, uh, I'll say our, our strategy is multi-energy with this vehicle. Uh, we're launching and starting the all-new Charger with the BEV. Uh, so this is our launch vehicle, and then next year we'll bring in our, uh, we'll bring in our T6 powertrains as well uh, as the four-door. Uh, I mean, this car is very exciting because it is all new in terms of how we get there, in terms of performance, um, but the performance is better than the outgoing car. So we have a 3.3 zero to 60 on this vehicle with 11.5 quarter mile. Uh, those are numbers that you can't, you can't uh, deny. So these are true and true muscle cars and we're really excited to bring something new and continue to push. And the car that we've got here is, uh, is a Scat Pack Stage 2 with our carbon and suede and our plus group. So this is a fully optioned model. Um, and you'll see, as you mentioned, the, the ambient lighting. Uh, you'll see on the doors and the IP, we've got uh, the uh, carbon fiber, so real carbon fiber inserts, again, that kind of react and, and uh, work with the, uh, the ambient lighting. Uh, in the center console here, I guess, like I mentioned before, drive modes that you're, uh, you know, you'd be familiar with on Dodge in terms of drag mode, track mode, uh, again, setting up the vehicle really to, uh, for, you know, for those specific purposes. So it's going to change your suspension, um, your traction control settings, your steering to give you the best ability to perform at the vehicle's best within those, uh, within those conditions. Um, you're going to have a wet snow, maybe a little bit, uh, you know, kind of new for, uh, for Dodge, but given the all-wheel drive, this is really something that we're, we're leaning into the all-wheel drive, uh, to really broaden the reach with uh, with the latest muscle car. So uh, again, we've, we've had all-wheel drive in the past. Uh, now we have it across the board in our high performance and, and really excited for uh, for that. With the hatch that we have standard on the car, uh, this you know this is this is more than just a, a weekend toy uh, in terms of uh, in terms of a muscle car. This is truly a, a vehicle that can be a daily driver. Has the the uh, capability of all-wheel drive, the performance as well as the usability uh, in the uh, in the hatch. Um, so it's it's about really understanding what our customers uh, use the most and making sure that those are uh, first surface. Uh, and then I think the rest comes down to, to implementation. So I think there's there's instances where uh, touch or voice or uh, you know traditional buttons are implemented well and not. And so I think that we have a really strong layout with the combination that, he, that we have here with real buttons, control on the steering wheel, again, buttons on the uh, buttons on the are underneath the screen uh, and then some touch controls next to the screen for things like heated seats again it's first surface not buried in something else um, and uh, but again things that you you tend to use more often oh yeah you can absolutely go and pre-order where we have our first call uh, that's happening now through the end of November uh, where we give a additional package for those who um, buy a sold order vehicle and place an order for their, their custom build uh, and it includes a uh, drive experience at Radford uh, Racing School in Arizona as well as some additional I'll say first call uh, collectors items for uh, for that buyer this isn't just an EV this is the all-new Dodge Charger it just happens to be electric this first time around we have uh, our power shot feature, which gives you more performance at the push of a button. Um, so again, all the things that you would you would expect from Dodge are in this vehicle. All of our drive modes, like I mentioned, the power shot. Uh, we even have a Fratsonic chambered exhaust to give you that sound uh, that you expect from a muscle car. Uh, we are launching with two trim levels. The one I have here, as like I mentioned, is uh, our Scat Pack Stage 2, so 670 horsepower. Our other uh, trim that we'll have available at launch is our RT, and that comes standard with 496 horsepower. And yeah, pricing? Uh, we do have pricing, uh, depends on the, the variation, but it ranges uh, mid-50s to, uh, to mid-70s. Uh, they are built in Windsor, Ontario, and uh, as I mentioned, we'll uh, be shipping to dealers here at the end of the year.